Fall festivals aren't complete without pumpkins, games, and candy, of course. Area organizations teamed up to host a trunk or treat. Take a look. Trunk or treat. Dozens fill downtown Columbus for games, prizes, and of course, costumes. Lynn Davis is a children's ministry co-director at First Presbyterian Church. She says this fall festival didn't happen overnight. It took a few helping hands in the community. We have Annunciation Catholic Church, St. Paul's Episcopal Church, uh, Sunday Local, and First Presbyterian. And we have been doing this for about five years as a community. And it is just an outreach for all of the children of our community have a place to come. And folks did just that. From scarecrows to wizards, characters of all kinds showed up to have some fun. The older people right are dressing up, the teenagers are dressing up, all the way down to the little bitty kids. There's been a few Chuckies and then princesses. There's been a lot of princesses. Dorsey Burris says it's good to have a sense of normalcy. I just like just the amount of people and that they get to have fun. I'm just blessed to be here and allowed to have this fun with my family. Yes, the weather is really great for her to enjoy coming out here to um, enjoy all the people that's around and kind of like COVID free Halloween this year. But one thing almost everyone is here for candy. Whether you have a taste for chocolate or something sour, Halloween bags were filled to the brim of sweet treats. As spooky season comes to a close, families were happy to join their community. There's not really much things to do here in Columbus, so I'm yeah. glad that they're actually having things and festivals and attractions for people to actually come out, get together and have fun and do things together as one. And over 500 people attended the fall festival.